Hello everyone, my name is James Bugwa and welcome to my YouTube channel. So if you're new, just consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I would really appreciate it. So today I have an authentication system which I've created using React on the front end and PHP at the back end. So just to see the code, so here I am, this is React. So basically here I'm just processing the responses, the data which I'm, I'm returning from the PHP side. So basically it's simple projects here. So I have several components here that uh, we'll be seeing. I have the admin part whereby like I have the theme. And then from there I have a uh, password change and then we have the reload and we have the password just retro uh, components there. So apart from that, I have the PHP application here. So if I go here, so basically I'm just having some routes here. You can see the routes here. And then I'm just returning on those routes. I'm returning several responses here, as you can see from there. So basically I'm just like, uh, uh, have this application in two ways. Like uh, they're not in the same uh, directory. They're separate. The front end is running differently and then uh, the backend is learning differently so we're going to start and see the uh, the application i just hope that you like it so i'm going to come here so right here i'm in the terminal and this is react uh, i mean yeah this is the the php so i'm going to start here let's say php addison and then we're going to serve that so the server will be started as you can see the server started this port so if i copy this particular port just like that and then i come to the browser and then i paste that port you can see that this is not the api so this is the php api which i'll be consuming using react so if i go to the other terminal where our react is running which is here so i'm going to say npm and then we're going to start that so just waiting for that to start so i can minimize that you can see starting development server and just like that it's also automatically loads so you can see that the port for react so basically this is the login page of this application and uh just to mention a react do not load so if you change the url right Currently, we are in login here. So if I go to something like reset password, you see the URL is changing and the content is being changed, but the site is not loading. And this is very good because uh, it can increase the speed uh, of your site and then it can make your application to be a single page application. So uh, just to show you guys, so if I right click like that and just say inspect like there, and then when I come to element here, you can find that we have a div with an id root here. So basically everything that you generate or you create, it will be inserted in this particular div with id root. Okay, so basically that's just a simple theory about it. So I'm just going to illustrate the concept and I hope that you like it. So we're going to start. So there is an account that I had created using this username. That's my username and the password. So you can be able to click and submit there just to log in. So it's like my password is wrong there. So I think I changed it. So removing that there and just clicking on login. And then I'm going to update that. So you can see that pop up there. So basically this is the dashboard which I had created. And the same same way if I change the URL up here, the site will not load here. So just to give an illustration, I can go to users. You can see this one is changing, but the site is not reloading. You can go to change password again, and the same same things happen. So we're going to start here by clicking this. This is my profile. So basically, you can see that we have a particular image here, and we have some some text there. So I can be able to edit this information, and then maybe put another another image. So searching for an image. I don't know if I have another image, yeah, so we can go with that, deep mind, that's nice. So we can say just deep, deep mind, it's like I'm um, not in the desktop, so going to desktop, we can see it here, clicking on that, and then finally uploading. So profile updated, so the reason why you see that loading is if the API have uh, not, re the backend have not responded with the data, the site will keep on loading until I, all that have been fetched and then the data can be uh, displayed. So you can see that particular image have been updated just like that and it's being updated reflecting up here. Okay, so basically that's how you change the profile. The other one is that uh, we can go to users here. So and basically this, these are the users of the system. 
Uh, but the system can only support two users for now. They have I programmed it like we can have the admin and we can have the normal user. So these are the users which I have. Um, and if I want to change maybe something about this user, I can click on edit. Basically, you can perform crude. So here you can add maybe something like that, and then you can just update like that. And again, you see the site is still it's not loading. So if I click on uh, maybe I click on the read, just clicking on that. So it's asking me, are you sure you want to read that? So I can just say no. So if I cancel like that, nothing will happen. But if I click on that read and then I say yes, so you see the user have been deleted, then it reloads again, and then we have three users. So you basically you can perform some crude. Again, you can be able to search from here. So assuming I want to search something like test. So the moment you just type it, you'll filter, will filter automatically. So maybe you want James. So like that. So if you don't have James, you're being filtered out. So basically you can be able to do that. So the other thing that you can be able to do is that you can be able to change the password here. So changing the password, you require the old password and then the new password. And you can, we can try to mess it up. We can try by using a random, not correct things, just like that. And then saying that. So you see the password confirmation must be. So all this validation are being validated from the server and they are, they are being returned here. So to, in the React side. So just to show you guys, so if I come here, you see that there is a certain object which is being returned here and this object is returning some errors here and this particular error is what you're seeing here so this one is saying the old password field is required the same same things that you can see from here so basically these are being returned from the server and then they're being uh, displayed on react side okay so if i put up the, the correct password here just like that and then this one i put the wrong one just for testing purposes again i just try to submit that you still see that we have an error again if i inspect that and then i come to console here and then i just find the object you can see that we have an array here and then the password uh, the password confirmation uh, must match so it's the same 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 error so i'm just going to use uh, another password which now it's correct so that uh, we can see that's happening so right there i have uh, i think i've used the correct password and uh, they are matching hoping so just so clicking on submit so it's a good job there your password was changed successfully so signing out maybe to try to log in with that particular password so we have that i think it was with one uh, let me see that if that was the case. No, I think I. So let me try to type it. Still, you're getting the same. So I think I typed that. So let me see that. Yeah, just like that. So you can see that James session have been started. So maybe I can update that password. So it's possible to change the password by sending the request to the server. The server responds respond with the maybe the validation errors or respond with success which is 200 showing that the risk request went through okay so so again you can see the users are being like uh shown here we can be they are being uh, fetched from the db and then they're being displayed from here uh, the other thing that I could show you guys is that you can be able to reset your password, assuming that you don't forget your password. So when I'm here and I don't know my password, maybe I forgot. So I can be able to click on reset password here and then I'll be required to key in my, my email address and the email must be correct. If I choose a random one, uh, it should not work. But I, this, I think this one is existing. That way you see still uh, loading. So maybe what you could do is that I can choose another one, which I know is not existing. Like that one, I said that the selected email is invalid. But for this case, I want to use my correct email, which is uh, uh, like that. So selecting that, and then I'm just going to click on request. So you see that loading whenever the, the request is being sent to the server and not it have been received on the React side from the server. That way you see that it's been loading. So you can see this pop up here, check your email address. We have emailed you a password recent uh, reset link. So we're going to go to my Gmail. So I'm going to come here and then I'm going to go to Gmail. So waiting for that to open. 
so it's opening up as you can see so here i am so you can see this 741 and this one is 741 up here so assuming this uh saying that uh, this one is the message that we are we are waiting for so opening it, we can see that it's magical react so this is just a random text then you can be able to change so i'm going to click on this one and then it will give you uh, basically the reason why it have redirected us to the dashboard is that you cannot reset your password when you already logged in it even doesn't make sense so we click on sign out there and then we click on the, we go to the email and then we click on this link and then when you're here you can just type the password uh, the email address which is uh, uh my correct email address otherwise if i use another one it will not work and then i'm just going to type the password the new password i want to use so maybe i want to use that and then i want to use that again there uh I like that uh I, I have a feeling they're not matching so let me let me repeat again so right there and then finally we click on change so your password have been changed so maybe to try if everything is working so right there so my bad i think there is a character i'm forgetting there yeah just like that and you see that we are able to change the password and again if i try to fetch data like to refresh the page you see this one is turning zero and then all of a sudden it's turning three just check that delay so like we're in zero and then three so the reason why you see that delay of zero and then changing to three is because that we are fetching that data from the API and before the API respond to us with some certain data, we have like a, a state and that state is like zero and each time uh, the data comes we need to update uh, the state and basically that's how it's work. So something small else that I could show you guys is that uh, I want to away like if you click on this one it changes the mood like the dark mood and the right mood so if I go to the users you see we have all these red colors here if I click on the mode again it goes back to black uh, but the aim of this one is to have the dark uh, the dark theme and the right theme which are going to implement as I continue with the, this client work so Thank you, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And soon we are starting a training here on YouTube. I just hope that uh, uh, my viewers will uh, benefit from the training. So thank you, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.